that is putting up a million dollars for a Charlotte based nonprofit to address violence right here in our city. Leaders are looking to fund services that provide holistic support to uh, residents trying to get on the right track, a whole person uh, track here. As city officials continue to seek solutions here, WCNC Charlotte's Teresa Water shares the impact behind the work that's actually being done. And I went to jail for six months. I had a bond that was over a million dollars. Katia Hines says two years ago, she hit a new low, a mistake that landed her behind bars. A mistake she thought ended her life. I didn't have no support. I didn't have no help, no guidance. It's easier to do things the wrong way or the, take the easy route. Hines says she eventually connected with a nonprofit Freedom Fighting Missionaries. The organization helped her regain freedom and transform her life. I have more now than I ever had in my life and it feels like a dream, like everything is done the legal way. Hines says the organization also helped her with her son, her home, and her business, Braid Barbie. She says she's most grateful for the hope they've instilled inside, something she'll carry forever. It's like giving us light for people who experience so much darkness. The more resources that are poured into underserved communities, the more opportunities for them, for those that we serve to thrive and grow. Kenneth Robinson is the founder of Freedom Fighting Missionaries. He says as the city continues to make investments to help those in need, there will be more success stories. We will see a reduction in crime and in violence, and we will see an uptick in upper mobility for those coming from underserved communities. Communities, he says, can be transformed with the right resources and team. It feels like a dream. Tradisha Woodard, WCNC Charlotte. With WCNC Charlotte wants to highlight the actions being taken to solve local problems. We don't know about them all, of course, so please share your knowledge with us. Send us in a tip at newstips at WCNC.com.